Hello vloggers, long time no talk to. Uh, my alarm didn't go off. <laughs> so we're going to Iowa today. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do just before Christmas. Fly to Iowa, why Ken, why? Why would you fly there? So one of our amazing friends named Ryan from Buffalo, he said one of my uh, community tabs or something that, hey, if you ever get to Iowa, you gotta go to Iowa 80 and it's the world's biggest truck stop. So I thought, hey, let's do it. So I was supposed to get up at two and get to the airport by three. It's supposed to be, when you do an international flight, you're supposed to be at the airport three hours ahead of time. But I woke up at three and uh, I think it's just time for four now. But uh, all's good. <laughs> uh, international arrivals, departures are over there. So since we're flying to the States, we'll just go straight over to the United States uh, gates, which is F and uh, make our way through the Nexus Pass. Made it through security and using the Nexus Pass. I'm actually glad I didn't get here until the one I did because the Nexus line doesn't open until 4.30. So there have been people that have been waiting there an hour. So I guess leaving three hours early is good if there's weather or some accident on the highway or whatever, for sure. But this time in the morning, it's just not worth it. I'm at gate 96, which is the last gate. And I don't think I've ever been that far in this terminal one. But I'm not sure if there's a Tim Hortons down there or not. I forgot to mention, at 4.30 the floodgates opened. We all went through, went through security first and then customs. And I was out of there in 20 minutes. And there are probably still people lined up for the regular lineup. Nexus people, Nexus. This is my gate, I'm the first one here. We got like an hour before the plane departs. Boarding starts at six, or the flight leaves at six. Well, there's a Starbucks there. I was gonna take a peek around this corner. Some stores still haven't opened yet. And this looks like it's the end. So Starbucks it is. Yeah. I'd love to try that double smoked double bacon smoked cheddar, cheddar and egg. That looks wicked. And uh, a large latte. Thank you. Oh boy. So my large latte and double smoked bacon sandwich came to 13.16. Yep, we're at Starbucks. All right, it's time to board. I was group three. Not a whole lot of people on this plane, it seems. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? All right, how are you guys doing? Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome aboard United Flight 1769 with 9th stop service to Chicago. As you're finding your, your seat, please stow your larger items in the overhead bin. Smaller items in the seat in front of you. We should be pushing back here and we'll try to make up as much time as possible going into Chicago. Uh, the reason for the delay is uh, customs. Uh, we were told it was really backed up, as you probably experienced it. So, uh, as we get closer to, uh, to Chicago, we'll give you an update on the weather and the arrival time there. So, for now, sit back, relax, and again, welcome on board. My name is Chris. I'll be your purser on the flight to Chicago. Captain has it for me. The flight time is going to be one hour and 22 minutes. And at this time, I'd like to direct your attention to the flight attendants by so you have very important safety information about this aircraft.
time, ladies and gentlemen, is you are in the air travel plans here in Chicago. If you could please remain seated and let those passengers that have tight connections make their connections, I'm sure they would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Land it safe. Got about an hour before we get our next flight. Thank you very much. Have a great day, honey. Thank you. All right, we've got to find our gate, which is in the same terminal. We're lucky, very lucky. I think we came in on B11, so we got to get to B22 down this way. This is a very small plane. Uh, I think I'm sitting by myself on the left side of the plane and on the right side of the plane there's two seats. So I think that was it. Very, very tiny. I've been on one of these before, but I uh, have to check my bags. It won't fit in the overhead compartments. The door through which you entered, a floor level exit on the forward right side across from row one, and the two window exits located over the aircraft wing. station that somebody said they had the best pizza around and another place there's two places they wanted me to go to so we're gonna go do those Merry Christmas sir Hi. <laughs> friendly place there's only one turnstile but I got my car from Avis all ready to go hope there's nothing on there it's important I don't think so I'm just gonna get my jacket and hat out and then we'll go get something to eat. Sorry about the wind, but we got a, a Nissan. I always do a little walk around, make sure there's no damage on it. It's a Sentra, the SV model, first in flight. Looks like a North Carolina car. He's got an Illinois. All right, let's go get some food. All right, let's see if this thing starts. It starts, that's a good sign. All right, okay, full tank, good to go. Let me know if you guys always fill it up before you bring it back or do you pay their fill up fee? I don't know, I don't trust it. I like filling it up myself. All right, I just have to find the social media where that person left a bunch of things to do while I'm in Davenport. Uh, I was thinking of doing the Popeye sandwich because people have been bugging me for a while to do that and just do that as a standalone video and just get that done and out of the way and then because uh, today is Tuesday isn't it so I could probably shoot that and then throw that up as soon as I get to the hotel tonight uh, that's what we'll do we'll do that first and then there's supposed to be like a pizza place uh, no not a pizza place a gas station that sells apparently the best gas station pizza around so We'll, we'll have to look up some information. Just found a Popeye, so let's get over there and uh, get some food. Mm -hmm. 
made it to Popeyes. It's right behind me. Popeyes. I guess that's a cinema, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a cinema theater. I got a Lowe's over there. An Applebee's, Wendy's. Uh, we've got... Uh, what did we just pass on the way here? We passed uh, Panda, Panda Express. And then there's also a Chick-fil-A down there. So this is like the happening spot for all the like, fast food restaurants, plus a regular food restaurant. And they've got a Walmart, Marshall's, Dollar Tree. All right. So I'm going to get this video shot and uh, then we'll be on our way. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate that. The new crispy chicken sandwich? It's pros. Probably like another hour until we got the unthawing. Oh, okay. Pros and a pack. Got it. Thank, thank you. you. You're well, you heard it. She uh, has a big pile of them and they're frozen still. So uh, we're going to have to uh, find another one. I believe when I looked for Popeyes in this general area, the Quad City area, there was at least three, possibly four. But I think we have to go to another state. We're going to drive all the way over to another state called Iowa. shutting down the lights ah oh, there we go and I just finished doing the at the second location we're gonna sit here oh check those out people mmm all right I'm not sure what I'm doing next so uh, I'll look up on my phone what's going on and then we'll move on to something else we are now in Walcott uh, the largest truck stop in the world is right across the street and so that's why I picked this hotel to comfort in I'm gonna see if I can check in sometimes I won't let you check until like three or four but I want to start editing all right let's do a room tour of my comfort suite in. It's a nice, perfect room. It's a little bit cold right now. They definitely have the heater off, so we'll have to do that. So that's what the room looks like on entry. Got the sink right here in the bedroom, living room area, which is it's usually in the washroom, but that's a good idea. When there's a couple people sleeping here, uh, we've got the fridge. Microwave, drawer space, the garbage, tissues, coffee, hair dryer, a few little soaps, shampoos. Did you forget something? Uh, some places will actually, if you forget your razor uh, and shaving cream, sometimes they'll just give it to you, like little small ones, which is good. Uh, I've got a face cloth, closet ironing board hangers laundry nice uh, I came and turned everything on so I didn't have to turn it on while we're walking around so everything's looking good one of these special 
toilets uh, pee and uh, the other one. <laughs> a number one and a number two flush. That's good, saving water. Let's shut that silly noise off. And a uh, nice big king size bed. Yeah, I think it's king. We've got a nice little lounging area. Trucks right outside. So, oh, it's a truck wash. That's what they're waiting. They're waiting to get their truck washed. I'll turn the heater on, warm this up a bit. So there's our little trip from Toronto to Iowa. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, I was gonna get all my stuff laid out, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I'm debating on whether or not to go back to Davenport to the machine shed. So that gentleman told me about the machine shed and it's uh, apparently like a farmer's, farmer's market restaurant thing so all the all the farmers in the area they actually supply that restaurant with their goods so uh it's supposed to be one of the well-known places to eat around here but again it's about 15 kilometers back the other way but i wanted to get here and get settled in thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later